Hey guys, what's up? It's Tank from X106.5 and 96.9 The Eagle. I'm on a quest to find the holy grail of delicious. We're checking out food trucks today, so let's get started. I mean, I haven't eaten in like 45 minutes. Today we start with the Latin Soul Grill. We're joined by proprietor, Mr. Gary, how is it going? Great, how are you today? Now, Gary is a Marine veteran. Yes, sir. United States Marines, thank you for your service. You're thank you well. for uh, serving me some delicious food. Absolutely. Um, let's talk a little bit about the food truck uh, craze. You guys have been in business for what, five years now? Yes, sir. This uh, November will be five years right. uh, with the truck and definitely been quite a ride here in Jacksonville. They've truly embraced these food trucks, us in particular. Uh, and so we're actually very happy to be here to serve today. Is it, is it quite a ride because it's a truck? Get it? So <laughs> uh, my wife, my wife loves this truck. Okay. To which I said, when did you go to that truck and who did you go with? Did you see my wife here? Uh, at one point a time, I'm sure I did. I okay. just can't remember. Was but... she with the guy? Because that's not okay. Uh, no. All right. <laughs> so let's talk a, a little bit. It's the best of both. Is, yes, sir. is what you guys can talk about for your truck. Absolutely. What, is, what are the two elements that it's the best of? It's actually a combination of barbecue and Puerto Rican food. Ooh. Uh, and at the time when we first started, there were a lot of uh, barbecue trucks out. Right. And so they were saying to me, uh, one friend in particular, uh, Gary, you might want to rethink your concept. So we just said, let's just do what we've been doing. Right. And that was basically pairing barbecue with the Puerto Rican culture. So your wife is your co-proprietor. Yes, sir. Uh, Maritza. Yes, Maritza. She is in the truck right now cooking while Gary's out here just loafing about, talking to me. <laughs> she's in there just cooking away. Yeah, she's so doing all you the guys, way. So you guys have this, uh, this idea, you get it together, and now you've got uh, weddings. And uh, you were telling me that you do some really great, like, uh, philanthropical, you guys have philanthropicals on board? <laughs> <laughs> we love giving back to the community. Yeah. Uh, yes, well, one of the things we do, we do serve the City Rescue Mission twice a month. It's amazing. Uh, the City Rescue Mission on McDuff and the one downtown here right next to the bus station. Uh, and again, it's our way of giving back and they think we're blessing them, but they always bless us. So it's just, again, you know, our opportunity to give back to the community. That's it's, it's really good. amazing, man. I thank, thank you guys so much for doing that. Also, uh, we're going to eat all kinds of great stuff, which is perfect because I'm starving. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, hopefully we exceed your expectations. I, I, it smells amazing, and, and maybe I'll bring out a little salsa little, little dancing. Salsa yeah. Dance oh, yeah. Know. I definitely got to get my camera out for yeah, that. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so this is the part where I rate the uh, food. Uh, so we're going to rate it on presentation. Now, if you're on your lunch break, uh, this is awesome. This Caribbean bowl is uh, compact, easy to eat. Uh, you can eat it in your car. I, I wouldn't recommend eating while you're driving, but you could. So presentation, I'm going to give it a 10. Latin Soul Grill is all about originality because this is combining two different genres. Uh, you got the Caribbean along with the barbecue flavor, smoked chicken, the whole nine yards. So I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10 for originality. I can't fathom you would get anything like this anywhere else so i'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 for originality uh flavor also uh nine because it is unbelievably good um the flavors mix nicely the chicken on its own would be incredible the rice on its own would be incredible very fresh pico so i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten for flavor